gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Constantine with Car Motion. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special car. This is a 2019 Lincoln Continental Reserve uh, trim level. And uh, I just actually purchased this car a couple days ago and I'm going to review it for you. When I first time saw this car on Auto Show in 2016, they presented this uh, car with suicide doors and uh, I thought it was just amazing like a spaceship with a large piece of chrome on the bottom and I remember talking to the salesperson and asking him is that gonna make into production and he said no and he was right the suicide doors didn't make it in production as well as the big chrome piece on the bottom but still what did make into production really, really impressive. Especially in this iced mocha color. This car, it just uh, looks very exotic from the back. There are some colors that don't do justice to this car. There are some solid colors, there's black, there's blue, that don't do justice to this car. But this is one of the best colors for this car. As long as uh, you get a right wheels package, which is, uh, this one has 20 inch wheels. It's part of the uh, part of the package with panorama. The only thing that I you regret I didn't get is the LED lights package, which was part part of the larger luxury package. I was thinking maybe in the future I will upgrade, but turns out. To upgrade this uh, list lights to LED lights, the vertical lights from the black label, is a big expense. So I'm gonna drive it for now and uh, maybe in the future I will upgrade. Let me show you inside. In order to open the door, just put your hand here, and there's a little release button here, which you press and it pushes the door out. It's this, uh, called door poppers. It doesn't have actual actuator. Just the button here you press and it releases the door. If for some reason the battery dies and you trapped inside, there's a little release button here which it allow you to open the door manually, the old fashioned way. This car is still smells brand new. The stitching is absolutely amazing. Everything here is soft touch. This real wood, genuine wood. This is real metal, not plastic. The door car looks very beautiful. A piece of uh, unpolished uh, wood here. Everything you touch, it just feels very luxurious. This is a serious car. This is even soft here. And this is a soft piece here for you to, to touch against your knee when you ride in as a passenger. These seats individually adjust to each of your legs. There's the leg extenders that are here right and left. I don't know if it will allow me to do that now without a key. Let me see. Yeah, push the button and it extends. Beautiful, beautiful. It's actually a very useful feature. These seats in general, is, uh, they say it's dirty way adjustable, perfect seating position. I haven't played with it yet. I don't know about 30, day, 30 ways adjustable. I don't see 30 ways there yet, but maybe it will. This is the kind of lights that I wanted to get. It's called LED lights. It's five vertical LEDs. It looks very beautiful. It's really, really nice feature. And actually this color I would prefer for this car. It goes nicely with the contrast panorama. So according to this book, these are all the colors that are available for this car. The silver radiance, it looks beautiful for this car. 
There's a pristine white, there's a tri-coat. Ceramic pearl looks beautiful, this card. This is what I have here, it's a eye smoker color. I don't know if you can see this reflection here. So this color I've seen, this, this, all of these colors, including this uh, black colors, they don't really do justice for the car, to be honest with you. So this car looks beautiful in silver radiance, pristine white, ceramic pearl, and ice smoker. This is the best colors for this car. And also they have the themes. Um, this is a terracotta, cappuccino. This is the one we have here, it's cappuccino. And the other one is ebony, it's like a, a basic, basic one. And uh, this is the wheels that we have here. It's 20, 20 inch optional polished alloy wheels. For this particular car, we have twin turbocharged 2.7 liter V6 engine with 335 horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque. And uh, I think this is a front wheel drive. Yes, I think front wheel drive. And this is pretty good uh, combined uh, MPG 21 combined 27 and a high weight in the city. This is really, really good. Um, another cool feature that I didn't get for this car is the real entertainment in the headrest, beautiful, beautiful thing. It's probably gonna never be used, but nonetheless, it's a very interesting feature, a very luxurious feature. Maybe I'll get it one day. Stepping in the back seat, everything is absolutely brand new here. Nobody ever sat here before. Completely virgin with uh, your climate control function here and a, a rear heated seats. This armrest doesn't really have anything in it. Just a nicely appointed pocket, velvet inside, beautiful actually. And this is for your coins, I guess. I assume this is for cup holders. Nothing special with a little pass through here. Now as a part of the reserve package for this car, it's equipped with the kick Opening trunk. Very nice. In the same way, it closes up. You have to really catch it. Okay, you have to step back. Kick and stand back for it to close. Dual exhaust, which actually sounds pretty decent. This also equipped with this system that uh, allows you to leave the key inside and just put uh, your code. And to, to lock it, just push this little button here and it locks it. And mirrors fold. To unlock it, now you have to go through here. Step inside. It has a soft closing doors. The doors automatically get sucked in. Beautiful button for the start. Just to touch this button alone, it's just so Bentley. Moves your seat forward, adjusts your, your steering wheel column closer to you. Let's close this uh, shade here. I can watch this forever. <laughs> this is so cool. And this car has a heads-up display, which it was a must for me to have because I'm used to heads-up displays, and I just cannot uh, do without it. Um, I love this dash, and it's configurable also. I'm gonna push this button here. It looks like a little camera, and it will show us a 3D, 360. I mean, 360 view of the car. Uh, auto hold button here allows me to, uh, if I press that, it allows me to not having to keep my foot on a brake when I stop for a light. Very nice feature. This is a self parking feature here. If you push this, select uh, side using a turn signal. Okay. Uh, I don't know how we can 
demonstrated now. I'm kind of parked on the grass here, um, but I'll do it later. So here we have a source, a different source, so I can choose uh, my Bluetooth uh, music from my phone. And this is my uh, my music that I stored in my my USB storage for the music right here. Sounds pretty good, actually. This whole thing closes up, makes it nice and neat. This is like Mercedes uh, did uh, in the S-Class on the CL. Very beautiful. Kind of keeps it out of sight and makes it look uh, more luxurious and clean. This car also has a pedal shifters, which I did use. And I have to say, they switch pretty fast. Um, has a voice command. Let me see if I can use that. Radio 99.9. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. You can <laughs> say AMs or travel link. You can also say cancel or help for additional information. I guess it doesn't understand my, my accent. My Russian, Russian accent doesn't understand that. All right, let's try it again. 99.9 FM. Please choose. FM 99.9. I didn't get that. Please say the line number, like line one, or say none of those. Line one. Yes. Let's check out the engine. Brand new, absolutely brand spanking new engine. 2.7, two turbos, 335 horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque. Nice isolation here. It's a very quiet engine. You don't hear this at all. When you drive, you don't hear anything in this car, actually. This car is like a, your own little universe. You close the door. And you're so isolated from the rest of the world. It's just incredible. Also, this these cars have what's called the active noise canceling system. Uh, I'm not sure how it exactly works, but uh, I was told that it uh, injects some kind of uh, sound frequency that cancels out the sounds from the outside. It's an interesting technology. Oh, it's okay, so I'm gonna take this for a ride, and um, I already adjusted my uh, driving modes. You can actually adjust um, your drive mode. You have to put here. This is your selector. You can put drive, and it has a nice elevated swipe back and forth. And even if you're not on sport but just on the regular drive you can configure your mode in drive mode on regular mode you want it to be more sporty in drive you want it to be more relaxed more comfort and of course if you go to sport drive you can consider that as well and there's also a configuration for what's called performance i guess with performance you will always be in the performance mode which i normally like to drive in but this particular car Actually, when you put it in a sport mode, all it does is just, to me, it just becomes more bouncy. The suspension becomes bouncy. It's supposed to be tighter, but it's just bouncy. And as far as steering wheel feel, it is heavier, but at the same time, it's not as 
responsive. It's not as uh, sharp as I would expect it to be in a sport mode. Yeah, fortunately this car is not trying to be a sporty car. It's just gonna give you a little bit more stiffness, I guess. So there's no point of driving this car in the sport mode at all. Maybe, but I still don't. Some of the car reviewers, they give you a bunch of data about the car, zero to 60. It's really not something I try to do here. This car doesn't make you want to drive fast. And it's fine, it's not trying to be fast. It's meant to give you a plush ride experience. It's trying to be a Bentley, and it's uh, it's kind of succeeding with that, to be honest with you. For the first time, I just don't want to drive even a speed limit. <laughs> I just want to drive under speed limit. Because it's like, you're not in a hurry anywhere. It's very, very soft. It makes you feel expensive, it makes you feel relaxed, it makes you feel pampered. I put on a massage feature, which is here, this button here, push that, and it starts massaging me. Not only my back, it massages my, my butt too, like one butt cheek at a time. It's a very weird feeling, but at the same time, I feel like it's it's care, caring about me more than my girlfriend does. Oh, this is an amazing feeling. Oh my God. And here is Lincoln Continental Reserve. I always wanted this car. I got this car two days ago. I'm still in the processing of the, what I just did. It takes me usually uh, about a week to realize what I have done. Got myself in uh, double payments. But nevertheless, how, uh, how ever are you gonna get into more expensive cars if you don't do it gradually? If you don't start with something like this and then work yourself up to a real Bentley Continental. Or in my case, I want a Bentley Mulsain. That's why my dream car is. And right now, this is the closest that uh, I can get as far as uh, ride quality, as, as far as how the car makes me feel. It's really, really amazing how the car makes you feel. It changes you. It makes you a different person. It makes you more mature. And I think that's a good thing because that's how you work yourself up to a more expensive cars like Bentley and Rolls Royce. So. Lincoln did a good job. American luxury at its best. That's how I can describe it. Do I recommend this car? Oh yes. Oh yes, absolutely. I recommend this car. At this price range, you cannot buy anything more luxurious than that. So if you guys enjoyed this preview, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.